Hi guys, my name is Lauren. Welcome to Queen Pen. Today we're going to be doing some beautiful engagement ring cookies. We'll be starting with a super basic version and then I'll show you at the end how to really upgrade it and make it look super fancy. Okay, so we're going to start off with our blank cookie. I have used a cookie cutter for this ring shape. I very rarely actually buy cookie cutters, but the ring is one that I have made enough that I've found it necessary to actually buy a cookie cutter. So I'll link that below in the description for you if you want the same one that I have. So I'm taking the Detail Consistency Royal Icing in a cute little light pink color and I'm making an outline around the ring. So now I'm taking a blood consistency icing and just flooding the whole cookie. So that means filling the inside so I'm creating a nice background layer for me to put my details on top of. And I'm gonna use my scribe to help push the icing in the right direction so all of my little corners and edges are filled. The scribe is also perfect for popping any air bubbles. You wanna get those before your icing dries. It's kind of fun popping them, so. Okay, so I've let my pink layer dry in front of a fan before adding my little white diamond shape. So now I'm outlining it in a detail consistency royal icing and I'll be filling it with the flood consistency royal icing. That's usually how I do. The outline is in a thicker consistency that really holds the shape and the flood consistency is a little thinner and it does self-level to some extent and then I help it along with the scribe. Okay, so now I'm going to take my golden brown color and just make a nice thin circle around and add a couple little details up top. So I've chosen this golden brown color because it's perfect as an under layer for the gold leaf that I'm about to add on and I'll show you guys how I do that. The gold that I buy is truly mad plastic, super gold, and it's wonderful. It's the shiniest, prettiest gold I've ever found. I dumped out a little bit of that and then I have a set of watercolor pins that you can fill the end of, the end cavity. I fill that with a high proof alcohol. So I'm able to squeeze the pin part and the alcohol comes out the brush tip. And so I use the brush tip to help mix up the alcohol and the gold and it forms a nice sort of paint consistency that I can just paint right on top of the royal icing once it's dried. I like to add gold to my cookies whenever I can because I feel like it just dresses it up so much more just to have a little bit of shine on there. So Truly Mad Plastic also has a copper color and a silver that I have as well, but gold is my favorite. So now I'm adding little details to the white diamond. I have switched back to my white detail consistency icing for that because that doesn't self-level so my details will really stand up really nicely. Okay, so I really love the way that our basic ring shape turned out. It's got the nice thin line that gives you a lot of space in the middle where you can put like a name for your bridesmaid if you're doing a bridesmaid proposal or you can put your wedding dates or a special little message. It gives you plenty of space to work with and it looks really pretty and delicate. However, if you do want to be a little bit extra with your ring cookie design, we can do that. And I wanted to put a pretty floral design around the ring part. And so I scoured the interwebs, I fell into the Pinterest hole and came out with a really, really cute floral that I wanted to use as my inspiration. This is it. I fell in love with it. So. I actually went down the rabbit hole even further and found a couple um, pictures that looked very similar. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the white peonies with the little yellow and orange flowers like around it. So that's, that's the general what we're going for. So let's go back to the ring cookie and I'll show you how to transform it into a beautiful floral ring cookie. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna go through the process again, just because now that I'm adding a whole floral design to the cookie, I realized through trial and error <laughs> that the design looks a whole lot better and more even when I thicken up the finger part of the ring. I still don't know what to call that exactly, but the part that I'm fixing right now. 
So I actually tried making this cookie as an experiment with the really thin ring shape and then added the florals on top and then I decided that the florals looked a little bit too heavy on top of the super thin ring. So I've thickened it up, but it's not too thick. It's still nice and pretty and delicate, but it will balance out the florals that we're gonna add a little bit better. And now I'm gonna teach you how to make the flowers. For this part, you will need a flower nail. That's this little doodad right here. Okay, so I'm going to use my Wilton 102 tip and squirt out a little tiny bit of icing, just enough to make this little square of parchment paper stick to my flower nail. Okay, so for this part, you wanna make sure that you're holding your Wilton icing tip in the correct direction. So we're gonna use the fat part of the Wilton tip and we're gonna make sure that that's facing up. And with it, we're gonna create a ring of icing around the flower nail while we're twirling it in our fingers. And this is just gonna be a support ring of icing. So it's gonna help prop up the flower that we're about to make. So now we're starting with the actual flower and we wanna flip the tip so that the fat part is facing down now and the skinny part is up. And that'll give you nice delicate edges coming out on the ends of your flower petals and that's what we want. Okay, so you start and then you just kind of wobble it three times and start a new flower and twirl while you're doing this. I swear it is not as hard as it sounds. And I like to create two layers of the petals. So it looks okay right now, but it's gonna look even better when we add our yellow icing in there and add the center of the flower. So again, I'm using that Stiff Peak Consistency Royal Icing in the yellow this time to create the center of the flower. And for these, I just want them to like stick up a little bit. So I am squeezing and then letting go almost right away and just pulling it towards me so that they stick up. And there's no exact amount of little flower center guys that you want to put on there just whenever it looks right to you then stop adding there's no rules just whatever looks good okay so when you're finished with your flower you want to let that dry before trying to move it off of the parchment paper so just set the parchment paper square with the flower on it on a flat pan to dry for a few hours so now i'm going to teach you how to make leaves so again we're taking that stiff consistency green icing and you can use a Wilton tip for this, but I just like to cut directly into my disposable tips. That's easiest for me. So we're cutting in a little V shape and I'll show you how not to do it first. So you don't want to do it like this if you want it to look like a normal leaf. Okay. So the way you want to hold it is with the seam facing up like this. So your pointy edges are facing up and then you kind of angle it at a 45 degree to your parchment paper and squeeze and sort of ripple back and forth and let go. And that first one wasn't exactly my greatest example, but it does take a little bit of practice. So we're going to do a few of these and I'll show you how they look once they get going. Before doing florals, I always like to practice on a sheet of parchment paper first so that I've warmed up a little bit and my best work is going on the cookie. Or you can go ahead and just make a zillion royal icing leaves ahead of time and just pick out the best ones once they're dried and add those to your cookie. So you can use the same cut tip to create little short leaves or you can use it to create long, more rippled, detailed leaves. It just depends on how many times you're rippling that bag back and forth. Okay, so that's what we want them to look like. So I'm gonna show you how they look with a little rosette here. And here we're just adding a little short and another little short guy. So that's basically it for adding leaves. It's super easy. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do one more little floral element before we really get going on assembling the floral design. So for this one, you just want a nice dot of swirl icing, again, the stiff consistency, and then just add little dots of additional icing on top to create a nice textured little ball. Okay, so we've moved on to assembling the floral. So now that our flower is dry, I'm going to add some additional royal icing to the back, and that's going to act as my adhesive when I'm putting it on the cookie. So you just place that where you want, 
And now I'm going to start adding my little orange elements. I've made a few ahead of time that I'm going to use the transfer method and just pop on there in the spot that I want. And then I didn't end up making enough of them. So I am going to add some directly onto the cookie in a bit. So here I am adding green little vines just in a detail consistency, royal icing, super easy. Okay, so these I'm just adding directly to the cookie and I actually think this is an easier way to go if you're comfortable with making the florals. So now we're adding our little details on there and our vines. And here we go adding our leaves. I just added three and really rippled them because I wanted some texture on there. Okay, isn't she beautiful? I'm really happy how this turned out actually. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep an eye out for our next tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make some adorable wedding dress cookies. They are certainly not what you usually see and I'm really excited about it. I'll be teaching you a basic version and then if you are confident in your royal icing skills, I'll also be teaching you a more fancy version to really show off a little bit. As always, I have posted my recipe and any supplies that I use down in the description below. So check that out. Thanks guys. Bye.